welcome back to LSJ TV. Before we get started in today's video, please do me one thing. It costs you nothing, it takes two seconds, and it will really help me out. Drop the video a like, drop a comment, anything down below. Comment down below, home gym, if you are listening to me saying this right now. If you do that, it will really, 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 really help me out. If you're new here, stick around, subscribe. You might like what you see. If you don't, well then just don't, I suppose. Starting off with our own home gym, we have our weights tree over here. I will do a proper tour of this eventually. This is actually a leg press slash hack squat machine. We have a rack here and moving across to some cables right about there. Speaker down in the corner, which is actually going to be moved up here, just to kind of clear this little space here. Obviously it's a garage gym, and so we don't have a lot of space as it is, and so we try and keep things off the floor, we try and keep things minimal if we can, to, to just open up the space, just so it feels nice and spacious, you know? Recently we have branched over into this side of the garage with the TV, we've got ab machines down here, and we have the leg extension, and of course, spin bike oh and that's a leg extension hamstring curl at the same time I would actually always recommend spreading the cost when it comes to home gyms this is what we've done we've built this up over the past few years um, and just kind of slowly upgraded slowly expanded and all this kind of stuff um, but especially with the whole situation going on right now um, people are kind of springing up home gyms like that and that in particular is what Charlotte my girlfriend who I'm using for the title here and James her brother have done in about two weeks. Let me know in the comment section down below, would you like to see a full home gym tour with the names of the equipment and where we got it from and all that kind of stuff. Um, I plan on doing it anyway, um, but let me know, if because if you don't want to see it, then I won't make it. But if you do want to see it, then I will. So let, let me know in the comments, right? I, I need some food, I'm hungry, can you tell? So one weird thing you have to do when you do this social media malarkey is uh, actually, I prefer to cut these bags just so that they do look a little bit neater. You have to bear in mind, I show this to you guys on a daily basis. It has to look like a prime product. It is a prime product, but it has to look like it. If the bag was a state, you guys would just be like, oh, that looks crap. Maybe not consciously, but subconsciously, you would have a negative opinion. And that can't have that. So for the first time today, we are back on the salted caramel way. It has been, I would say a good week or so maybe since I've actually had it purely because we actually ran out I think it was probably because well it is because we were having them more often myself and the old man would actually also not only put less protein in the tub because we would have a porridge pot if we were at work and um, we would also have it only five days a week now I'm having this every single day of the week whether it's Monday or Sunday you know I'm having oats for breakfast yes this is breakfast it's late I know I just not been hungry I don't know why boiling water stir give it a tension for two minutes then put it in the microwave Glass of anabolic OJ also going down. Quite oh, lovely. Not as good as Tropicana, but it'll do. Side banana, a heap scoop, and yeah, maybe a little bit more. Bosh, stir that in right now. And jobs are good in. Oh, I've missed this, man. Oh, <laughs> So if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll know that over the past few days, I've been kind of doing a bit of a clear out, like you know, just clearing, digging out old stuff, right? Some of that old stuff is my planner from 2010. Today's date is the 6th of May, 2020. This is the 6th of May, 2010. And I had French homework. Obviously I had to go to page 138, exercise three, write sentences and check page 139, all that kind of stuff. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Did I do said homework? Of course, oui, oui. J'adore la bibliothèque. There's also this sheet, which was the speech from when I won player of the year about like 10, 11 years ago for rugby. Um, and it's just talking about, you know, consistency and my competitiveness and all this kind of stuff. It's been ingrained in me. Sports taught me a lot. And I, I think, I don't think I put that across on this channel an awful lot. Just how much um, I learned from, well, not only rugby, but tennis, just lots lots of sports right i played a lot of sports as a kid so that got dug out amongst a few other things and do not worry people we will get to the beloved story of the beloved toucan i love a toucan me ladies and gentlemen prepare to be amazed we are doing a um <laughs> a family zoom um talent show with all the kids uh, I do actually have like a few nieces and nephews and stuff, um, I just don't, don't put them on the camera because they're like really young and that would be really weird but 
prepare to be amazed. So a quick note before we actually go downstairs. Um, I get asked all the time and I've never actually done anything about it because I couldn't be bothered to, but now, I've had this clear out right over the past few days and I've dug up um, very, very good condition old Gymshark stuff, old Alphalete stuff. When I say I get asked all the time, we're talking like once a week someone maybe says something like this to me. So I was thinking if I put it on Depop, would you guys would you guys give a damn? Would you guys actually want some? Because you know some of this stuff I haven't worn for two years, but it's still in like great condition. Combine that with the fact that you can't actually buy half of this stuff that I would put on there anymore. Um, I think it could be quite a good idea. So let me know if you're interested in the comments. Let's do this bloody talent show. A circus. Ooh. I'm going to host my own circus for you today. I hope you enjoy. Sit back and relax. For my first trick, I'm going to spin this ball on my finger. Whoa, no way. No. As fast as I can and for as long as I can. I might drop it on purpose sometimes, <laughs> but I'm just going to start again if that happens. I want everybody to scream out loud how many seconds it is spinning for. One, two, three, four, five, etc. Okay? <laughs> In three, two, one. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. And I'm going to change fingers in three, two, one. Change fingers. Wow, what a fantastic trick. Oh, look at that. Wow. How many seconds are we on now? I'm losing it. Oh, and for my next trick, that's fantastic, thank you everybody. For my next trick, I'm going to juggle for you. Okay, let's count how many times we juggle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 but that will do for today, thank you. Thank you everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was amazing. Oh, 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 this is me. Amazing indeed. I mean, if you disagree, you're just a hater. You're just a hater, you wish you had skills like me. And that was a lot of fun. Zoom meetings and all that kind of stuff. Or to be honest, whatever social media kind of online video streaming connection thing you decide to use, use it. Because times like this you need to stay connected as much as you possibly can. And that was actually, <laughs> was actually really, really funny. Over the past couple of weeks or so, Charlotte and James have built up their own home gym little paradise, right? That is going to keep them occupied during quarantine and beyond. Because I must admit, the first time I ever strolled up to their house in my car, I thought, wow, that garage has a lot of home gym potential. And here we are around about three years later with an updated home gym tour, which has been made in about two weeks, which I think is pretty freaking sick. We built ours up over the past like five years. Um, and I think that's the route that most people kind of tend to go to spread the cost. Whereas I think they just kind of spent a, a few hundred quid on some weights, on some racks, on a bench and all this kind of stuff. And it's looking pretty damn sick, if you ask me. So without further ado, people, drop the video a like because Charlotte is going to do her own bit of vlogging. Her first ever unique solo piece on the channel is finally here. It is long awaited. We've been together four years. I've been doing YouTube for even longer than that. So drop the video a like. I'm sure it will mean a lot to her. Not me. To her. It would mean a lot to her. To her. <laughs> Hi Liam's friends. Um, Liam's asked me to give you a little update on how our home gym is coming along. So we now have an adjustable bench that goes up and down, pretty great. And then we've got 47 and a half kilos of weight because that was all that was in stock at the time. But that's it. Thanks, bye. Well done babe, well done babe. Incredible, incredible. If you haven't liked the video already, you're a terrible human being and we can no longer be friends. So just to clarify, that is a new bench instead of the kind of sun lounger slash mat thing that they had last time, um, which is pretty sick and essential because that now means that they can do stuff with dumbbells, uh, they can do seated stuff, obviously standing stuff as well. Uh, they didn't mention the barbell that they have. Another key part to their gym is the multi gym. So they have a lap pull down on there, chest fly on there, leg extension, you can do leg curls. Um, what else? I think it's got a 
chest press thing as well. I'll try and find a picture of it. One thing that didn't get mentioned as well in the previous home gym video, the previous girlfriend home gym upgrade thing, whatever it was, the rack that they have is a full power rack. So mine downstairs in the garage is a half rack with just the two stands and the spotter bars. Whereas the one that they have has four poles as well as a straight pull-up bar. And I just think it's a pretty sick freaking setup. They cleared the garage out. They've laid some mats down, made their own weights, bought some weights as well. It's just, it's just great guys. I think it's flipping awesome, especially in such a short time frame as well. So that is their home gym upgrades. That is where they are at for now, whether they're going to expand even further. I don't know. I shouldn't imagine so, but I'm, I'm not too sure. I shall keep you updated on that. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see any further videos regarding their own home gym setup. And I think it is time, ladies and gentlemen, to tell the story of the old toucan. Now I put this on my Instagram the other day, two or three days ago now. I thought more people would know about this, but clearly I haven't explained it for a few months and there's a lot of new people that don't know the story of my love for toucans. Bear with me guys, I just need to get into character. Perhaps I shall tell this in an in-depth story one day. But here is the story of LSJ and the toucan. It was a cold, wet and windy Tuesday night in Melton Mowbray and a young Liam, or LSJ as he is known on this channel, is lying in bed peacefully thinking, ah, I've had a fantastic day. What a wonderful time. What a great time to be alive. And then, <laughs> panic hits. Liam shoots out of bed having realised that he has not completed his homework. Now back in the day, Liam used to be a real goody-goody in school and really, really, really worried about every single teeny little piece of work and it had to be Perfect, all of it. Said homework that he forgot to do was to draw a toucan in practice for an art competition. Don't know what he was doing, don't know how he forgot, he must have been dreaming about YouTube videos or something. But this toucan, this toucan ladies and gentlemen, was what I was meant to be drawing. So I got up in what felt like the middle of the night at the time, it was like 9pm, but obviously I was like eight, nine years old, and so that was really late. That was like it being three o'clock in the morning. I ran downstairs crying, having not practiced for this art competition where we were not allowed a picture to trace. You had to know what you were drawing, what it was, and you had to be able to, I think, just basically know all about this bird. I'm pretty sure I was in year three at school and it was just an art competition, like a house art competition, and you had to pick an exotic bird. Mine was a toucan because myself and the old man were downstairs and we were like, right, what can you draw that's easy to remember, doesn't have a lot of colors and all this kind of stuff. We chose the toucan. One key thing if you get a good look at the photo is that it's actually drawn in with dots. Rather than it actually being a, a color in, you had to draw it and then color it in with dots. I don't, don't ask me why, I still to this day think it was dumb. But when the competition came around the next day at school, I spent the longest, I actually spent half of my break time doing it as well because I wanted to finish it and I wanted to perfect it. I have always been a little bit of a perfectionist. I get that from the old man, I think. And lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, we actually won the competition. And this is a picture a picture of the picture on the wall. I don't know where the original thing has gone. It's disappeared somewhere. It's probably been thrown away by now because it was like 15 years ago. But anyway, that is the story of the toucan. And ever since that day, toucans have held a very special place in my heart. I have socks with toucans on. I have hats with toucans on. I had a t-shirt with one on at one point, but I'm pretty sure that went in the bin as well. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to wrap up today's story, wrap up today's video and wrap up Charlotte's home gym upgrades. I wanted to show you this. I also found it um, in the clear out as well. It's actually a toucan um, cancer badge, a cancer research one pound badge. I actually didn't want to ruin or lose the badge, so I kept it in its packaging all this time. That was about a year ago. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I hope you have enjoyed the stories and all that. Drop a like if you have. Plenty more to come from Charlotte's upgrades, from my own upgrades in the near future. So hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope you're all well, I hope you are all safe, and I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do the token a favor, do Charlotte a favor, and do me a massive favor, and drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, let me know what you wanna see next in the comment section down below, and if there is enough demand for said video, I shall get on it because I'm pumping them out like crazy right now. One more question I actually get asked is my upload schedule. It is Wednesday and Sunday, right? Wednesday and Sunday, you can expect guaranteed videos every single time. However, 
pretty much since isolation started, I've done like five or six videos a week. It's been friggin' nuts and I've friggin' loved it to be honest. But if you like what you see, stick around, there's plenty more where that came from. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I appreciate you all. Stay safe, much love. Don't forget to enter into the Bicep Curl competition because Sunday will be the final day that you can enter for this week. And then we'll move on to the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. I've said it nine times now, but I'll say it again. Much love. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in the next one.